Hi, it's Timo. Welcome to Norwich City Central. Hello everybody, Lewis, Norris City Central, welcome to my match review. I'd love to hear your thoughts down below. Very, very pleased and very proud of that performance. Leicester won, Norris City won, Norwich second bottom of the league, coming up against Leicester, second best. Everyone's singing Leicester's pra praises. Jamie Vardy scored eight, uh, eight games in a row and Norwich defended excellently. We played some really good football. Um, you know, we, we tried to play some great possession-based football and Pookie in behind caused so many problems. Really pleased with the point. It's the least we deserved and we've stopped Leicester, you know, probably winning the title and that probably means Liverpool will go on and win the title. But on Norwich, absolutely excellent, defended excellently um, and played some really good stuff as well. I'd love to hear your thoughts down below in the comment section. Yes, really pleased. Norwich City are now on 12 points. We're still four, four points, I think, off 17th place and, you know, we're still making up ground. But if you can put performances in like that against the lower teams, then Norwich have got a real chance. The problem is we haven't been doing that. But, over the moon, an absolutely excellent performance. So let's start talking about the game. Um, Norwich City came into it and from the first whistle to the 90th, uh, to the 90th minute, played with confidence, played with uh, and composure as well. I look at our last away game against Southampton. This that, that was a six pointer. If we could have beat Southampton in that game, you know we would have gone above them in the table. That was a real six pointer. And we didn't play with confidence. We looked nervy. We looked edgy. We're coming up against Leicester, one of the best possession based possession-based teams can play some fantastic counter-attacking football they're a team to be really scared of but Norwich weren't scared fantastic football uh, Puki should have scored very early on Max Ahrens I thought that was his best Norwich City performance um, certainly in the Premier League I thought he was excellent putting a fantastic ball along the face and Puki I don't know how he's missed but five minutes later Puki makes up for it Emi Buendia and Timu Puki combine Emi Buendia I thought was excellent today. I mean, there's a couple of instances in which, you know, maybe he could have done a bit better, but overall played some really, really good passes. And it's a fantastic ball in behind. And Pukki's in one-on-one. -on -one. His pace uh, against Soinchu caused a lot of problems and a fantastic finish. And Norris City deserved that. I thought he was excellent. And Leicester hadn't really threatened. Uh, Tim Krull uh, saved from, from long range and, it, you know, tipped it onto the post. But Norwich were really good. But where are we let down by set pieces? It's been set pieces... Pretty much the whole season, it was set pieces in the championship as well. And it's really poor. James Madison, who I thought we did really well to contain him. I'll talk a little bit later on how, on how well we did in terms of our, our, our system and our, our structure. But we did really well to stop him. But his corner came in. Kenny McLean switches off. Vardy flicks it on and the the, the, the header was actually going wide. Um, you'll see it on Match of the Day tonight or whenever you watch the highlights. And But Tim Krull just tries to, tr tries to save it. He thinks it's going to go in and tips it into his own goal. Disappointed from Krull, but he wasn't to know that it was going to go into the back of the net. Um, and yeah, Leicester made it 1-1. But Norwich, excellent first half, created loads of chances. Yes, we conceded the goal too easy. Um, but look, I, 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 you can't really complain when Norwich City put in this much determination and heart into games. I just want them to continue because... When we got promoted from the uh, from the Championship to the Premier League, I know we could play this football. Look, teams may want to count us out, but we know we can play this fantastic football and, and show you a know, fearless attitude. We did it on the first day of the season against Liverpool, conceded too many sl sloppy goals. But look, we can play good football and, and if we can just do it against the bottom teams, we have a really good chance because... I know every game is worth, um, obviously, three points, um, but, you know, the six pointers really do matter. You look at Watford, Southampton, Aston Villa. If we were, if we beat Aston Villa in a hypothetical world, you know, we'd have been above Aston Villa because we'd have an extra three points. Villa would have, a, 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 obviously, not, not, not the three points. Norwich would have 14 points. Villa would have 13. But um, and Norwich would actually have 15 points now. But, yeah, that's what I mean. The whole point is we need to play against this against the bottom teams. But coming up against Leicester, fantastic performance. Second half... Um, we defended really well, and what we did re really, really well is we defended deep as well. Um, you know, Jamie Vardy is one of the best Premier League players at the moment, and his pace in behind us caused teams so many problems. I think Leicester are probably a better team away, especially for Jamie Vardy. Did well. There was a couple of occasions where Vardy got through. He hit the post from an acute angle, and um, you know, Tim Krul made made a fantastic save to deny Jamie Vardy, and certainly made up for his ever. But Norwich City defended well. We were resolute. We were determined. Uh, and we're disciplined as well. I thought Max Aarons was sensational at the back. Godfrey, I put, thought, put in a really good performance as well. Uh, and defensively, Tetty um, said what you want about his passing. His positioning is excellent. And we we we, we just defended excellently, didn't we? Um, and, and that's really, really pleasing. Um, I did want to touch on Kelechi Inacho. I don't know what he was doing in the first half. Should have gave the ball just 
uh, back back to the back to our, our players, but decided to run on through and try to score himself. Um, obviously, we take him down, and then it, it caused quite a melee. Um, and then the ref did the right thing and gave the ball back to us. But overall, what Norwich did so well is we defended deep, we defended resolutely, and we tried to come out, we tried to play our football, the likes of Kenny McLean, Todd Cantwell, we tried to play this nice attractive football and build between the thirds. But when we couldn't do that, we had another game plan. Timu Puki in behind, he caused lots of problems for Soinchu. And on another day, I think Timu Puki might have even made it 2-1. Had another chance at the end, Marcus Jeeperman's shot. Um, from just outside the area, he had a lot of room to set it out, but he uh, put it straight at the keeper. But yeah, as I said, Norwich defended excellently, tried to play, um, up, you know, possession football from the from from our own third into the final third as well. And we had Timmy Pukki as a counter attacking player. Max Aaron's I thought was sensational for me, and yes, really really pleased. But Norwich need to need Norwich City need to keep building on this. We've had some great results against Everton, and you know. In a couple of weeks later, we let it slip with some terrible performances against Sheffield United and Southampton. So we need to continue trying to put in this good performance and especially do it against the bottom teams because that's where our Premier League status will determine on. But over the moon with that fantastic performance. So let's hope Norwich City can continue to put in these excellent performances in. Love to hear your thoughts down below in the sec uh, comment section. Match review over. Leicester 1, Norwich City 1.